the internet is a place filled with posers, fakers, losers that say shit just to sound more morally correct. And uh, it's funny that the majority of these frauds dwell on Twitter. Twitter is like phony kingdom built for people that are just superficial in nature and have, you know, not really much to add to the medium. Everyone on Twitter is waiting to find even the smallest bit of topic, idea, or discussion that they can distort and twist into like a sinister narrative so they can grab up their good boy points, you know? You know, Twitter niggas, they're always talking about mental health. I'm guessing they think talking about mental health makes them like the pinnacle of intellectualism. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm being cynical there, very cynical. Uh, I think Twitter niggas actually do care about mental health, but a lot of them don't really know what it means or what it looks like. Twitter niggas, they'll walk outside, forget that their keys are on the table, and then be like, wow, I, I, I can't believe I forgot my keys inside. I mean, this is the only time I've ever done it, but I, I bet that means I have autism or something. Does, does that make me ADHD? C can I claim that? Can I say nigga now? Most of the severe cases of mental health people really don't get to see. Uh, most people's idea of what poor mental health looks like, they have like a pretty black and white binary concept of it. Niggas think it's either A, depression and anxiety, or B, niggas that act like that one dude off of Split that kidnapped those teenagers. There, there's no in between for them. So when they see someone that actually has some undiagnosed mental condition acting up, they don't really know how to respond or I guess to respond well. You guys remember Too Mad. I'm not sure what this motherfucker had, but he definitely had something. Don't get me wrong. I'm no psychiatrist. I'm not trying to diagnose anyone with anything, but I, I know a manic episode when I see one because I myself have manic episodes. Uh, it's the main reason I stopped using Twitter because there were many times I just say something or do something while I was in a manic state that I look back on after a week and I'm just like, man, what was I thinking? Like, what am I, a maniac? No, wait, I am. So I just try to stay as far away from it as much as I can. Anyone with a cousin that has even anxiety could see that shit. I think it was Mudahar. Some people know him as some ordinary gamers. Even though I even though I dislike this dude's content to the absolute maximum, most YouTube slop frequency over quality garbage I've ever seen. He was one of the first ones that saw through what was happening and was like, too mad, I think you're having a manic breakdown. Please get off of Twitter. I'm not sure if it's deleted or something, but I can still see it in the history of my search bar. But anytime I go to the actual page, it's like something went wrong. Too mad went from tweeting three times a day to 3,000 times a day. And everyone just like, yeah, that seems like, uh, that seems like normal behavior to me. This dude tweeted, here's my girlfriend of like this dead minor. And everyone just like, nothing wrong with this guy at all. He, he's just a terrible person. That's it. Like people want to believe people are just terrible in nature. Let, let's fuel the fire of his mania by being antagonistic. Classic Twitter, J just classic Twitter. I remember Turkey Tom dropped a video that was a bit empathetic towards the situation. It's it's now deleted though. Weird how everyone's deleting shit, right? I'm, I'm not sure if it's because they were getting flack for being one of the few people that actually knew what was going on and wasn't just joining in on the hate bandwagon because during the time of Two Mad's death, everyone else, or maybe I should say, every NPC on Twitter was happy he died because again, they don't really know anything about mental health and only see the byproduct of it and, and not the context. But I'm not afraid to speak up about it. You know, Two Mad was on Keemstar's ass after Etika died because of the anti-mental health bullshit Keemstar was yapping out of his mouth. And now I'm on Twitter's ass because of the same bullshit. But yeah, Turkey Tom made a video that was titled too mad was alone. Now I never watched the video, okay? Cause I, cause I think that shit was like an hour or something, I forget. It'd be a cold day in hell. You catch me watching a video on YouTube longer than 10 minutes, but I couldn't agree more, you know? I don't know what he had, right? But it's obvious he didn't have a proper support system in place to prevent the events that occurred. I even saw some people calling him druggy and making jokes at the fact he died taking drugs. And to be fair, I highly doubt anyone that cares about mental health, even in the slightest, would make those sorts of comments. Even the people that think of mental health in a black and white way, even they know that poor mental health is associated with drug use as a coping mechanism. So I, I can't really get on Twitter's ass for that. So give yourselves a pat on the back. Good job, good, good job, Twitter. Actually, I hate too mad because there were allegations that he sexually assaulted someone. I can't hate on anyone for that. I mean, me, myself, 
I usually like to wait until I hear the verdict before I make my own opinion, but you could be right. That's the most I can give you. You could be right. But kneecaps, why do you care so much? Why do I care so much? Because one, I fucking hate Twitter niggas, okay? I hate them with every ounce of blood circulating in my body. And two, because someone's got to give these retards a little bit more context. And also because I see way too many niggas, black niggas, get themselves into some bullshit because a lot of our culture doesn't recognize mental health as an actual thing. And I think, I think Tumad's parents were African, so... I already know how that shit go, bro. Not trying to downplay the mental health of anyone that isn't African or black, but it's just so much of a disparity between the racial demographics that acknowledge it. Imagine me, you know, me being 24 years old at the time, only then realizing my brain is surfing in a whole different galaxy than half these niggas I live amongst. And then the other half of these niggas are surfing in my same galaxy, fucked up to the brim and don't even know it yet. Anyways, I wish y'all the best. I pray none of these mental health afflictions get to you, but if they do, good luck finding out which of the 300 mental conditions you have. I only had to go through like 700 meds to find out which one worked, but uh, yeah, hopefully your journey is much quicker than mine was. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye. Look at this hungry ass nigga, bro. You see this? 잘하지도 못하네 그저 바라보면 배